Good evening. Tonight we are uh, just about finished um, our studies for uh, the New Life in Christ uh, discipleship classes that we've been taking. We were, we're going to be reading and uh, learning on forgiving others tonight. Um, so it's go ahead. It says, if you want to be forgiven and be at peace with God and your fellow man, then learn to forgive others. An unforgiving attitude can lead to your ruin. Excuse me. Um, yes, babe, I haven't heard back from her. Um, I'm actually teaching online right now. Do you want to? Yeah. I'll, you know, can I call you back? <laughs> I love you. Bye. Um, it says here, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 and 22 says... Um, then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him up to seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Luke 6 verse 37 says, Judge not and you shall not be judged. Condemn not and you shall not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says and be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another Even as God in Christ forgave you Study guide what do we learn about forgiving others? we we learn that um, We have to forgive others because if we don't then we won't be forgiven uh, It's a very very serious um, issue and That's why God talks about it so much in the Bible about forgiveness because that's why he sent his son, Jesus, was to forgive us of our sins. So we need to be able to forgive others for their sins. <laughs> um, and it says that we need to be tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as Christ forgave us. So, and we're not to judge. Our, we're not to judge. Um, judge them because we're not the judge. We are. We're not. We're. We're. We're, we're messengers. We're, we're saints and soldiers that are to help bring them into the sheepfold so the Holy Spirit can do his job. Because the Holy Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit's job is to convict. That's the Holy Spirit's God job is to is to, 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 to kind of prod and, and kind of like, you know, Jesus, that's what he does. He in, in uh, Psalms twenty three, you know, he's a shepherd and he 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 he, uh, he prods us, he'll bring us in and he he does whatever he can and he's constantly always trying to knocking on the door of our heart wanting to let wanting to come in because we're his children and he wants to be with us and he wants us to want to be with him as well um so matthew chapter 18 verse 21 and 22 says um that we need to um forgive 70 times 7 so we need to constantly be forgiving there's a difference between forgiving and having a boundary to to say you know what enough is enough that's it you cut cut communion with them because they're not um you can tell that they're they're just they, they've crossed over and they're just they whatever you know their heart is it, it, there's just you'll know when you'll know when that happens and, and and i just pray that none of us ever go have to go through that or um or or, or that part because you know this is not what christianity is about christianity is about building the kingdom of god it's about winning people to the lord it's it's not about it's not about disarming our members and disarming our brothers and sisters and casting them aside and putting them in a corner that's not what we want to do you know that's why we need to be quick to forgive <laughs> and quick to be forgiven quick to to allow the correction to come in and and just allow the holy spirit to you know it hurts for a little bit it might hurt you know but that's what being born again is we have to learn how to do things over new differently so with that being said um how can you apply the truths uh, these truths well you can always apply the truths by by remaining in christ uh, it says that if, if we draw close to him he'll draw close to us if we remain in the vine um that will bear fruit you know so these are things that we need to keep in mind and um my prayer is that we would all um we would all finish the race you know there's it's, it's, it's not just about what you're doing right now. It's about wh what you're going to be doing for the Lord in the next season, in the next season, with the next season. And, and if you're not 
carrying forgiveness and you're not carrying love and, and affection and, 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 and mercy toward people, then um, no one's going to be want you to be around because that's 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 going to slow their ministry down. It's going to slow your ministry down, and, and ultimately it's going to it's going to lead people people aren't going to want to be around you. So, um, so Father God, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus. We just uh, we just repent for any kind of unforgiveness that we may have toward others or toward ourselves. God, and um, we pray, Father God, that. Uh, that you know that we renounce we renounce all sin that that's uh, involved in unforgiveness or or, or anger or um, being quick to speak and, and not to forgive. So we just bless you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit that gives us power and dominion over the enemy. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.